Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to discuss about vowels uh, I have discussed consonants in my previous videos so if you haven't saw them kindly go to my channel and see the lectures regarding to consonants so vowels as I have told you in my previous lectures that vowels are articulated with the help of tongue only Whereas consonants are articulated with the help of your tongue, your teeth, your lips, your alveolar ridge and other organs. But vowels do not involve parts of mouth. It only involves your tongue. And vowels are of two types, monophthongs and diphthongs. Monophthongs involve one vowel quality whereas diphthong involves two vowel qualities. Two vowel qualities mean that uh, two monophthongs combined together to form a single diphthong. In this video, I am I will only discuss about monophthongs. Uh, so let's discuss it. Monophthongs they have single vowel quality, and monophthongs are of two types according to their duration: short vowels and long vowels. Short vowels are produced for the short shorter duration whereas long vowels are produced for longer duration as compared to short vowels you can you can identify long vowel in such a way that there there are two dots in front of them like colon i meant i'm just mentioning with the help of uh, arrow so when we describe vowels we rely on different sets of criteria because they're slightly they're quietly different from consonants because when we produce consonant there is constriction of air in your vo vocal tract and you have different organs of speech that are uh, articulating different sounds but that's not the case with vowels because vowel only involve our tongue so uh, we describe vowels on three criteria that is height roundedness and backness now what is height in height or the height refers to how high or low tongue is while producing vowel sounds on an, and on this basis vowels are either high mid or low it means that your position your the position of your tongue will be either high or low or it will be in the mid backness refers to how how back or front your tongue is or either it is in central position while vow producing vowels and roundness refers to whether your lips are rounded or not while producing vowel sounds i the, as i have told you that monophthongs are of two types first i'm going to discuss about short vowels and then i will also describe about i will also describe different criteria about the vowels short vowels First is E. Let me open my pen. Here is it. Okay. First is E. E sound. Shorter duration. Like when you say bit. B, I, T. He, I sound is short vowel. Next is E sound. That is E sound. Do remember that when you are expressing sounds, you will put these at the, side, at the sides of the vowels okay so uh, second is s sound like you can see in bed and head b a d like this b a and d sound next is a sound this one is a like in bad and cat bad cat next is a sound as in cut k a t you will express it as this k a t and do remember that this this a sound is produced when the syllable is stressed Next is schwa sound. This is called schwa and you will uh, pronounce it as a uh sound. The difference between this a uh and this a uh is that this a uh is stressed 
when you are uh, pronouncing a word and a sound is stressed then you will write this one but if the uh, if the syllable is not stressed or it is unstressed you will use schwa sounds and do remember this schwa sound is really technical and often you know often students um, face problem in utilizing this sound for example i say sofa sofa hey i'm not you know stressing on fa sound fa syllable sorry so fa so um it is unstressed next is o sound this is o sound like in boss sorry o the sound is o next is u sound it's it's not for the longer duration like it would be like u sound like in foot f u t foot could k u d so these are short vowels so uh i if, as i've said this is a sound when you say a your tongue moves slightly low and your lips are not rounded they are unrounded and the position of your tongue is in the front a sound next is t so what happens that the tongue will be in middle and in you know the, it would be in front direction and your lips would not be rounded this is a sound sorry a sound so your tongue will be in the middle and position would be the front position and your uh, your lips would not be rounded this a uh, sound the stressed a uh, sound will in uh, what happens here that the tongue would be in middle and your tongue would neither be in the front position neither in back position but it would be in central position and your lips would be unrounded next comes schwa sound in schwa when you say this when you pronounce this sound a uh, that is unstressed what happens that the tongue would be in it would be in middle so it's sort of neutral position of your tongue and the lips would not be rounded they would be unrounded then comes u sound when you say u what happens that your tongue would be high but it would be in back position and the and the lips would be rounded next is o sound when you say o your tongue would move bit low and it would be in back position and sorry i have written unrounded it's not unrounded they are rounded when you say o sound the lips would be rounded next comes long vowels long vowels are lengthy as compared to short vowels first one is e in short vowel i have told you about e sound and this one is now e like you say feet you say sheet but that's not the case with e the short vowel e would be like fit and the long would be like when there will be long vowel it would be like feet so such pairs where they differ in only single vowel sound you call them minimal pairs so feet and fit both are minimal pairs this is how teachers can you know teach students easily that how different vowels differentiate from one another next is a sound in a for example if you see the example of calm heart so what happens that the a is slightly long next is o sound this one will would be you know lengthy as compared to this o sound like in pot saw next comes u sound this would be slightly lengthy sorry more it would be more lengthy than u sound like in boot root next is r sound slightly you know for example when you say r the feeling of you know frustration it's kind of that sound so you can you can see the example in shirt it would be like shirt 
you can also write, write it as this sound or sound can be written as like this so shirt dirt mother father etc so uh, when I say a uh, sound sorry e sound when I say e what will happen that my tongue would be in no, it would be high and it would be in front position, but my lips would not be round. Then comes a uh sound. In a uh sound, my tongue would move lower and it would be in back position, but my lips would not be rounded. And then comes oo. What happens when I say oo? My tongue moves you know in back position and it would be slightly high and my lips would be rounded then there is aw oh sound in aw oh, my you know my tongue would be in middle position but it would be slightly back you know it would be in back position as well it would be mid middle it would be middle but slightly in back position and my lips would be rounded then comes er sound what happens in er sound that my my tongue would be in neutral position so and my uh, lips would not be rounded so that's all from today's lecture if you have any question regarding to the lecture you can mention it in comment box and if you have any suggestion regarding to my my way of presenting the lecture you can also type in comments box Till then, thank you so much. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.